You have a quiz tomorrow. <coughs> it will just be on graphing. Okay? You'll still need to know how to find slope. You'll still need to know what a y-intercept is. You'll need to know y equals mx plus b. You'll need to know that the m is slope, which is rise over run. You'll need to know that the b is y-intercept, which is our starting point. I will not be here tomorrow. I will be attending the funeral. So you cannot come in early for help. You can, but there will be nobody here. Ms. Armstrong might be here, but she also has morning duty. So I would come I in today doing what? And, and actually, I have to do a science review for Mrs. Davis because she's out. So I won't be here tomorrow. So you will not be able to come in tomorrow morning. So the time to come, if you need help, is today during lunch B or C. I'll be here after school. Well, I'm not here for lunch. I have a meeting. Okay? Today, nothing is different. You are doing the same exact thing. So we are still graphing. You still need to know that to graph, it needs to be in the form of y equals mx plus b. And if you're like, Mr. H, we already took these notes. Yeah. And I'm going to keep drilling in y equals mx plus b. And I'm going to keep saying, what does the m stand for? Go ahead, Isabella. Slope. Slope. And then I'm going to put in parentheses, well, for us, when we are going from an equation to a graph, we are using the words rise overrun. Oh, bless you. Rise goes up and down. Run for us just goes to the right. If you start counting to the left, you've done screwed up. Then we still have one more variable that we need to know. Caleb, what's the other variable we have to know? B. What does the B stand for? Starting point. Correct, but what does it actually mean? It is the y-intercept. And yesterday, we said intercept is a fancier word of saying intersection. So this is where it crosses, intersects the y-axis. But when we're graphing, this is the starting point. Make sure you've copied it down again. Okay, I know that you already have it somewhere. Mr. Gray, go put your head up and copy it down. But you need to have this again. I told you the first day that we started doing this, I think it was on Tuesday. I missed Monday, but on Tuesday, I was like, listen, if you can do slope-intercept form, you're going to pass algebra. I mean, really, that's as easy as it is. So you're going to have to know over and over and over, and you're going to hear me say it a bunch of times, y equals mx plus b. Here's my question for you. <clears throat> to be in slope-intercept form, what has to be isolated? What has to be isolated, Samantha? The Y. The Y. Isolated means the Y has to be by itself. If there is not a Y by itself, can I say that it's in slope-intercept form? No. So what's the next added-on thing? On Monday and Tuesday, you did the same two things. You went from standard form and put it into slope-intercept form, right? So now I can say graph. And here's example one. 3x minus 2y <coughs> equals 6. Just copy it down for a second. Talk it over with somebody next to you. Say, hey, how would I graph this? Why can't I graph this? What do I need to do? I want to hear, you're going to tell me how to graph this. So talk it over with the people around you and get up a good reason about how we're going to get this to go. No. Oh, 
Okay. I'm going to take it one step farther. So pause, eyes on me. I'm going to take it one step farther. I'm going to say that my slope is three and my y-intercept is six. Talk it over. Am I right or wrong? What have I done? Talk it over. You see what I'm saying? So then you have the, uh, the y isolate. The b, the m would be the only one. The b would be it. Okay, here we go. Pause. So looking at this. And I need hands. I, I expect, because I heard a lot of great conversation. I mean, really, that was very good. I'm very proud of you. I need hands. Am I right or wrong in saying that M is 3, B is 6? I need, I need a bunch of hands. Simone. Okay. So, Simone, I want to make sure that I understand. The way that I've taught you is saying slope needs to be a what? Fraction. Fraction. So, you're telling me that if I make this 3 over 1, am I good now? Simone, I'm asking you, am I good now? Simone's like, oh man, this is a trick question. I don't like this. <laughs> Come on, I need some hands. Help me out. Jackson, am I correct now? No. Don't be a punk. Don't tell me no. I, I might be one of the smartest people ever. Why am I wrong, Jackson? Because... You have to isolate the y first. Whoa, 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 stop right there. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Say that again? You have to isolate the y. I have to isolate the y. I, I don't know what you mean. What do you mean when you say isolate the y? Get the y by itself. Oh, get the y by itself. So, isn't this slope intercept form? Don't I just say, okay, the number next to the x is my slope, which is what I did. So here's x, my number 3 is my slope. Can't I say that? Oh. May, may, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm trying to understand what you're saying. You're telling me that in the, I can't find my slope until y is by itself. Is that what you're saying? Oh. So, are either of these numbers right? Because why? Because. What? Why be? Oh, y is not isolated. So we can't find our M and B yet. Very good. Okay. So, Gracie, I heard you talking us through it. So, I need to isolate the Y. What do I need to do first? Because you don't have to raise your hand. That's why I called on you. Oh, okay. Um, put a negative 3 below the 3. So, just a minus 3? X. So, I'm taking 3X away from this. So, I'm taking 3X away from both sides. And then I'm going to drop negative 2Y down. Okay, so I'm going to help you out and be a little bit more mathematical. I'm not just dropping it down, but 3x minus 3x is 0. 0 minus 2y is negative 2y. So that's why that comes down. Can I combine 6 and negative 3x? Okay, which, in which order? Negative 3x plus 6. Oh, so the sign stays with the negative 3, but there is no sign with the 6, which makes it positive. Okay, let's stop there. Okay, B, now what? You add 2y. Okay, that's right. So, home? Divide. Divide by what? Divide by negative 2. Good. Now, this is where I'm very, very picky. Divide every single term by negative 2. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is positive 1y. Negative 3 divided by negative 2 is positive. Negative divided by a negative is positive. 3 over 2, put the x next to it. Positive 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. Okay, 
Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Y equals mx plus b. Y equals 3 halves x minus 3. Holy moly, wait a minute. Are we in slope-intercept form now? How do I know that I'm in that form? What happened? Isabella, what did we do? The y is isolated. The y is isolated. Very good. So now I can write m equals b equals. From this point, go and graph. So you're on your own. Graph. I'll get that phone call. Man, the door's open. The door's open. Come on in. Okay, so we should have this graph. So, Maya, what is my M? Um, three over two. There we go. What is my B, Brooklyn? What is it? Six. Not six. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're looking at the slope intercept form, which is negative three. Okay, so now we've got our rulers. X, Y. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, where am I starting? Haley, where? Oh, Swill. Yep. Go. Uh, negative three. On which axis? Y. On the y-axis, because that's my y-intercept. So I start off at zero. I go down one, two, three. Here we are. Now what? What do I do from here? Go ahead. Um, you gotta add positive three. What do you mean when I say add? Uh, uh, Which direction are we going? Up. Up. So we're going up. One, two, three, and then what? Then we're gonna go right to. Very good. Then we put our point. I don't know how to put it. You don't know how to put what? Like, I don't know how to say it. Then. You just said it fine. That was good. So now I make my line. And we're there. You have to make sure that before you graph, it's in slope-intercept form. So you're going to see two things on your quiz tomorrow. Two things. You're going to see it already in slope-intercept form and you're going to see it in standard form. If you see it in standard form, get it into slope intercept. Everybody with me? Yes. Could you just like combine 3 and 2? No. Is that not possible? No. Okay. Okay, so here's another one. Try this on your own. So we've got let's go 5x minus 5y. Actually, let's take the positive 5y equals, and I like that, equals zero. See if you can get this one. So your first question should be, is it in slope-intercept form? If it is not in slope-intercept form, you need to put it into slope-intercept form. Yeah. 
still a lot of good work here. But this wasn't one that was extremely easy. The only big thing that I'm seeing is we're screwing up a little bit with our positives and our negatives. Okay, for the most part, you guys did really, really well. Here's the mistakes that I saw. So, first off, you have to get y isolated. We subtract 5x from both sides. That leaves me with 0. So now I have 5y equals negative 5x plus 0. A lot of you lost the negative 5x. This is where we were screwing up. You have to keep that sign. Divide each individual thing by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1y. Negative 5 divided by 5 is negative 1 divided by 1x. Plus 0 divided by 5 is 0. So now we are in slope-intercept form. Find your m, find your b every single time. m is negative 1 over 1. b is 0. So we make our graph, x, y, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, if my b is 0, if my y-intercept is 0, we're starting off at the origin, we make a point, rise over run, it's negative, we go down 1, run is 1, run 1 to the right, your line should be going downhill. Make sure you have the arrowheads on it. Questions, concerns, problemos. So you will have two different things on your quiz tomorrow. You will have them given in slope-intercept form. You'll have them given like this where you have to put them into slope-intercept form. You have got practice for today. I'm putting them into slope-intercept form and graphing.